Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Please don't forget to subscribe. I make videos on motherhood, lifestyle, beauty, and just a bunch of different topics that apply to me, my life, and my family. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is how I lost 50 pounds. I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of my background and five tips that I think could help anyone lose weight that's trying to lose weight. So a little bit of background on me. If you're new to my channel, I have a 10 month old baby girl. I filmed some pregnancy like updates and pregnancy related videos while I was pregnant. So I will link that playlist down below and you can see what I looked like um, while I was pregnant and I kind of discussed like my weight gain and that whole process. I gained over 70 pounds in my pregnancy and I gained the majority of my weight um, I think actually I gained pretty much all of the weight in the third trimester so the first few months in my pregnancy updates I was really worried that I wasn't gaining any weight and I was so nervous and then like towards the end of my pregnancy I just completely blew up um, I was like a balloon and my ankles were so swollen and it was just a nightmare for me um, definitely the last month so yeah I was very nervous about losing my pregnancy weight like I said my daughter is 10 months old now and I still have about 20 pounds roughly to get to my pre-pregnancy weight but like I said I have lost 50 so so I'm gonna give you guys the five tips that really helped me and that I think could help you too if you're also on a weight loss journey the first tip is to Download my fitness pal or any calorie counting app and just be more aware. I don't believe in Being obsessive over calories because I know a lot of people can start to struggle with that when they're just like So like crazy about calories, but I do think in the beginning to really Realize what you're putting in your body and how many calories certain things are. It's so important to utilize these kind of apps um when you first start trying to lose weight and you start typing things in that you thought were healthy and they're like three, four, five hundred calories, you're just like, oh, like it just hits you and it's kind of like a wake up call. So I think the first step is to like be aware of how many calories you should be eating and um, just kind of like writing down everything that you're eating and looking at it because sometimes you just eat without thinking and you're like oh I didn't even eat that much or I've been eating really healthy and when you write it down or you see it in front of you you're just like oh okay like this is why I'm gaining weight or this is why I'm not losing weight so I definitely think that that is an important thing to do in the beginning of any weight loss journey the second tip would be to cut out processed or like sugary foods, desserts, that type of thing. And I think this is probably the most important thing. If you take one thing out of this video, it would be this because things that are processed, um, thing like sweets and all of that, they have so many calories. They're so bad for our body and they slow down our metabolism. So if you were to just cut out the processed foods and focus on whole foods and if you cut out just like that piece of cake that you're having or this sweet that you're having every day you're gonna lose weight just from that alone so if you really really um, feel like everything on this list is too much at least try to cut out the processed foods and like the sweets and the snacks and stuff like that um, that's probably the hardest thing to do but like I said it's gonna be the most beneficial and trust me I have a sweet tooth I would pick a piece of cake over like an actual dinner any day but it's just something that you have to do the third tip is don't drink ca your calories um, this is another thing that I personally was very guilty of and still sometimes am I am a sucker for a Starbucks drink a um, Tim Hortons ice cap like an ice latte like all of that kind of stuff but they have so many calories like four or five hundred calories and then you add like your extra caramel or you know whatever you add to it and even iced coffees like they can be up there in calories as well so you have to be really mindful of what you're drinking tropical smoothie jamba juice like all of these smoothies they are pre like made and pre-mixed they're not healthy homemade smoothies if you want a smoothie make one at home um 
what other drinks I'm trying to think of so yeah like all of those types of drinks are just really sugary really high in fat really high in carbs and they are not gonna help you on your weight weight loss journey so just be mindful of what you're drinking don't drink your calories if you have 12 1300 calories to eat in a day you don't want to spend 500 on a smoothie or 500 on a coffee drink like you're still gonna be hungry you still need to eat and it's gonna be really hard to fit in the foods that you need if you drink your calories and along with this tip I think that it was really beneficial to me that I started drinking lemon water because I started craving it I don't like water that much I had to kind of teach myself so if you don't like water as well um, just try to add lemon to your water or um, do like the detox water with like you cut up the strawberries or the cucumbers or the mint or whatever it is and you just let it sit in the fridge overnight and you drink it like that so it's kind of like flavored water whatever you have to do to um, make water more tolerable for you and then I also would add apple cider vinegar and a little bit of lemon juice to my water in the morning and drink that but I could do a whole separate video on that let me know if you'd like to see that by like giving me a thumbs up and commenting down below and I will film um, about apple cider vinegar and what that did in my weight loss journey the last tip is to try to eat later like try to start eating later in the day and stop eating earlier which is also known as intermittent fasting um, this has known to work proven to work a lot of people swear by it and you can just look it up on YouTube or Google at the re results people have seen by this so this is where you eat within like an eight hour frame so if you start eating at 10 a.m. let's say you're done eating by 6 and a lot of people will tell you that on a weight loss journey like don't eat after 6 don't eat after 6 and they don't even know that that's like intermittent fasting um, and it's just kind of like speeding up your me metabolism and redefining your metabolism by being in a fasting mode for a longer period of time so that really helps a lot too and if you can't do the whole eating later at least stop eating earlier that will definitely help you because you're going to cut so many calories by not eating two three four hours um, earlier than you're used to and um like i said it's just really good for your metabolism so those are my five tips and how i lost 50 pounds please don't forget to leave your comments down below let me know if you want to see more video what i eat in a day videos recipes anything like that and also like i said the apple cider vinegar and some of the things that i have like i can include that in what i eat in a day or i could completely explain it in a separate video um but that's all for today's video and also I could do like a weight loss journey like an overall long talk through video because I just gave you guys a little bit of a background. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.